Luke and Nate here with catsandcarp.com and today I'm going to show you our favorite fishing hacks. You ready to go fishing? Yes. All right. Okay, for my very first tip, I'm gonna show you how to straighten out mono and fluorocarbon leaders. So you got a bunch of leader, you take it off the spool, and it's just all curly cued and kinky. I'm gonna show you how to straighten it. First, gotta uh, take your belt off. Take your leather belt, fold it over, and pinch the monofilament and pull it through. Wink, and your leader will immediately start to loosen up. It will never be perfect, but the harder you do this, and the more you do it, the more it starts to lay. So look at that. Yeah, that's pretty great. So it went from being like three or four loops to being pretty straight. There you go. If you wanna get fish slime off your hands, make sure you use a dry towel, not a wet one. Remember, fish slime doesn't come off in water. So use a dry towel to get fish slime off. And if you wanna get that fish smell off your towel or off your hands, use Windex or any sort of ammonia-based glass cleaner. The ammonia kills the bacteria and will make your hands smell a lot better. Hands down, I break more fishing rods inside my car than anywhere else. It's the most dangerous thing I do with a fishing rod. So this next hack is gonna show you how to protect your fishing rods while transporting them in the car. Okay, go ahead and put your rods in your car like you normally would. Slide them as far forward as you can. Once you've got your rods inside your car, grab a bungee cord and hook it to the handle right here above the passenger's door. Feed it under your rods and then go ahead and hook that up there. Then go ahead and repeat the process for the handles above the driver's door. And there you go, you got your rods strapped to the roof of your car and they're out of their way. They're not poking you in the back of the head and they're less likely to get broken by your other luggage in the car. So let me show you a trick for protecting your rod and keeping it from getting snagged up in transport. If you've got a lead on a rigged up rod, that lead will flop around and beat up your rod and tangle up with stuff. All you need to do to protect your rod is just take that lead, wrap it around one time, and there you go. It's secure. No more flopping and flapping, no more banging up stuff, no more getting tangled. When you're ready to fish, boom, that easy. If you want to calm down a large thrashing fish, cover its eyes. Covering the fish's eyes will calm it down so you can get the hook out and get your pitcher. This will work whether you're using your hands or a towel or whatever. Just make sure to not actually touch the eyeball of the fish because they don't have eyelids. On small trout and panfish, turning the fish upside down while you unhook it can also calm it down. Backlashes on a baitcaster reel can be a real buzzkill. So when you're casting, instead of casting like this, cast like this with the handle straight up and down, okay? Okay, you'll greatly reduce the number of backlashes by simply turning the handle 90 degrees. Using a forked stick as a rod holder when you're bank fishing is a pretty common trick, but if you're not careful, a large fish can drag your rod and reel into the water. So when you lay your rod in the rod holder, take another stick, preferably one that's long, thick, and smooth, and drive it into the ground as deep as you can, right above the reel handle. This will prevent your rod and reel from being pulled into the water by even a large fish. And once you run over to your rod, you can simply pick it straight up and start fighting the fish without your rod getting tangled up. All right, guys, if you get your favorite lure stuck in a snag, put some tension on the line, grab the main line right above your reel, pull it out as far as you can, put a bend in the rod, and then pop it up. Snap your lure right out of that snag. Sometimes you have to do this multiple times before it works. So give it three or four goes, and if that doesn't work, well, then here's something else you can try. If snapping the line doesn't free your lure, try pulling it the opposite direction of your retrieve. Let me show you what I mean. 
Okay, I have put that lure in there, good. Okay, I'm pulling, I'm snapping, it ain't coming out. So what I do is walk the other direction, or if I was in a boat, go the other direction, so that I'm pulling the opposite direction from the retrieve when I got it snagged up. See? All right, just give it a little tug. Hot, comes right out. All right guys, so I'm gonna give you one of my most effective and important fishing tricks right here. This is a gem, so pay close attention. This is how you get your wife to let you go fishing more often. Pay attention. Hey babe, what's wrong? The boys are a little tough today. Oh, uh, were they a handful? Yes. Oh, well, hey listen, on, on the way home from work, I, I swung by this bakery, I picked up one of those cupcakes you like. Thank you, you I like do that? like oh. these Oh, and, and thank you. I also, uh, I noticed that there's that uh, Jane Austen movie you've been wanting to watch. Oh. I saw I found that on DVD on sale. I thought you might want to watch oh, that. thank you. So oh. the boys are causing you some trouble? Oh, they were fighting <laughs> they were fighting you know maybe i should take tommy out fishing and we have a little man-to-man -man talk about being a little bit more respectful and obedient yeah that'd be good would you like me to go take the boys fishing please take them fishing. i think that would be yeah. important for us to talk about that okay yeah. yeah oh good well anything i can do to help you out oh babe. thank you i love yeah, i'll you. go fishing tomorrow okay okay take the boys okay i'll take the boys fishing tomorrow okay That's how it's done, boys. That's how it's done. <laughs> Before I go, I'm going to show you one last little tip. Backing up a trailer. Backing up a trailer gets people all sorts of confused, but it doesn't need to be that hard. It's really simple. Look at the steering wheel. Okay? You want the trailer to go left, put your hand on the bottom of the steel wheel, uh, steering wheel and go left. You want the trailer to go right, put your hand on the bottom of the steering wheel and go right. Okay? Don't put your hand up here, keep your hand down here, and left is left and right is right. The longer the trailer, the less sensitive it is. The shorter the trailer, the more sensitive it is, the less turn of the wheel you need. If you like this video, don't forget to check out our other great videos from the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel, including my six favorite bank fishing hacks. Also, if you want to see great tips and tutorials on how to catch more and bigger fish, click subscribe. We put out new videos every week. Thanks for watching.